Psyched. Next week's show, we're going to have um, a representative from a different security company, Blue Line. Um, you guys are our first uh, security companies on the show. I don't know why it's taken us so long, 60 plus episodes in, but thrilled to have you here. Let's talk about some, some of this goodness. Um, Certainly. And that is to say that the marijuana industry has unique security concerns uh, is, of course, an understatement. So I want you Certainly. to tell us why this space. Um, businesses in this space need to take all aspects of security so seriously. Certainly. So, uh, like anything with value, uh, you have to keep it secure. You know, whether it's diamonds or marijuana, uh, this is a, a product that has a significant black market to it, where it can be sold very easily if taken the cash value. I, I don't know right now what the going rate for in Denver for a, a pound of you know X product is sure. but you can stuff X amount into a backpack and uh, if it's stolen it can be easily sold so like anything with that you know there's there's obvious concerns of theft uh, so it needs to be secure so but it's, it's well, how simple is this as that. industry specifically different than you know owning a liquor store or, you know, convenience store you know sure. a clothing store so with this industry specifically um, there's a lot of transport that's involved uh, in addition to a variety of other things to where so let's you mentioned liquor so you think of liquor uh, where you know a bottle of you know a Jack Daniels or, or whatever has a significantly smaller value by comparison to the way however you have uh, mass distributors uh, that are taking by you know by truck and moving it to a b c so on and so forth in addition to that the the checks and balances and, and controls for alcohol have been around for however many years, in Decades. addition to, right, a anything else uh, of value, the checks and balances, you know, they've been around for a very long time. Uh, the cannabis industry is, is in its infant stages, so those checks and balances are still being built and they're still being tweaked here and there. And especially absence of uh, banking, a majority of these businesses still do not have uh, legitimate right. banking, and so part of what you do, is, is it transporting money and maybe bringing a cash uh, payment to the Department of Revenue or to another vendor? It absolutely is, yes. Yeah, so that's a good question. So transport's a little bit trickier. From the business standpoint, uh, transport, the margins can be smaller. Mm -hmm. And then when an operation, we have several clientele that are that are larger, more sophisticated operations where they have multiple sites, multiple grows, and so forth, uh, to where once the transport get, gets to a certain extent, they actually, usually they'll do it proprietary. Uh, it'd be, it'd be, it'll, the cost will be significant outside if they outsourced it. Mm -hmm. uh, and once checks and balance are in place and you know some, some extensive consultation and so forth uh, that complies with the transport aspects, it becomes a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, it's fascinating because of all the different elements. It's like, yeah, you right. can have a security guard at the door. Uh, the state says you have to have X many cameras in your shop. Right. Uh, and then there's the transportation of this product and the massive amounts of cash that are there because and the banking. Yeah, most the of these businesses don't have a bank account.